What's up guys, welcome back to the channel for another GeForce Now News Thursday. It's a fairly short and sweet one this week. We have 15 games to go over. So another nice list from GeForce Now, and I'm gonna list all those out, and then I'll pick three to five uh, titles here that I'm really excited about or that I've played, that I think are great grabs here out of this list of 15. We also have another game that we wanna talk about this week coming to GFN that's not on the list just yet. So we'll get into that as well. So let's go ahead and list out the 15 games to get started. So our first game is City Skylines 2, a new release over on Steam and Xbox PC Game Pass for October 24th. Also, the first 100,000 people to purchase this game over on Steam can get a one-month priority access to GFN. So that's something you want to check out pretty soon uh, because they'll probably reach that threshold pretty quickly there. Next, we have Rip Out, a new release over on Steam for October 24th. Ghost Runner 2, a new release for Steam, October 26th. Cricket 22, Xbox and PC Game Pass. Deceive Inc., Epic Game Store. Dishonored, Steam. Dishonored, Death of the Outsider, Steam, Epic Game Store, and Xbox and PC Game Pass. Dishonored Definitive Edition, Xbox uh, Game Pass, and Epic Game Store. Dishonored 2, Steam, Epic Game Store, Xbox, PC Game Pass. Ghostwire Tokyo, Steam, Epic Game Store, Xbox, PC Game Pass. The Gunk, PC Game Pass. Kill It With Fire, Xbox and PC Game Pass. State of Decay 2 Juggernaut Edition, Steam, Epic Game Store, and Xbox and PC Game Pass. Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, Xbox and PC Game Pass, and Vampire Survivors over on Steam. So another great list for GeForce now this week. It's just really been fantastic week after week, in my opinion, in the past few months. And I've said that in the past few videos, but it really has been so many great titles coming over to GeForce now. As far as some of the ones that stick out here to me, City Skylines 2 is one I'll be playing a lot of. I played the original game a ton over the past few years. I know that it has launched with its performance issues which are uh, you know hurting reviews and people's experience with the game so that kind of comes with the territory sometimes I'm sure they'll get through those but I'm looking forward to City Skylines 2. Also we have Ghostwire Tokyo on here which is a game that caught me by surprise before I played through that on the PS5 and then I played it some over on the Xbox so I highly recommend Ghostwire Tokyo. The Gunk is actually a pretty fun game I played through over on Game Pass when it originally came out. State of Decay 2, one of my favorite games for uh, zombie games in the past few years, one I've played a lot of, and Vampire Survivors, a simple but sweet game uh, over on Steam, which is where I've played it the most. Uh, so we have the Steam version of Vampire Survivors. So a lot of great titles here, but those are some of the ones that kind of stick out to me that I either have played or will be playing here for GFN. Now that takes us to... Alan Wake 2. Now, this is a game I'm definitely going to be checking out and playing. I'm very excited for it. And it's not on our list just yet, even though it is out this Friday, the 27th. But Ultimate members will soon be able to uncover the mysteries with the power of the GeForce RTX 4080 server in the cloud. Survive the surreal world of Alan Wake 2 at up to 4K, 120 frames per second, with path-traced graphics accelerated and enhanced by DLSS 3.5 and NVIDIA Reflex technology. So while we don't have a date just yet here, it is nice to see that they are saying the game is going to be coming to GeForce now. So it's definitely a title I'm excited about. I'll play it locally here until it hits GFN, and then I'll check it out there. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up our news for this week. 15 titles, quite a few of them in there that I'm excited about that I've played before or something like City Skylines 2 I'll be jumping into for the first time and hopefully they get those performance issues ironed out. And Alan Wake 2, definitely a game I'm going to be playing, especially here with Halloween time and everything. I'm really looking forward to it this weekend. Hopefully it'll be on GFN sooner rather than later. All right, guys, thanks a lot for coming and check out the video. As always, I really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next one.